for the sign of Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. We'll find out what's coming up, where it says present. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So Capricorn, the recent past energy for you and your person, we got the Three of Swords and it's with the Star card. Now the Three of Swords, it's showing that there could have been an element of sorrow and it would have been undeniable. But what's on the other side of the sorrow, it can be enhanced, enhanced understanding and joy. So you would have needed to allow yourself to fully experience any sadness or pain that came up so that you could move beyond it, move past it. This card, it does or it can point to a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny any pain, that will not make it go away. So allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up or came up. But don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief. Or sadness for long periods of time and I say this because if you do stay in sorrow for long periods of time some people get stuck there and then they just wake up every morning thinking this is the new normal and it's not so just know that You're the only one who can decide how long is long enough and others will not be able to do this for you. Now, it's with the star card. You could find that you, you're feeling rather inspired. You'll be feeling more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. You'll also f find or feel confident that your needs, they're being met, whether it's emotional or financial or it could be both both of those needs will be met just know that nothing can be taken for granted but it is going to be unlikely that your confidence is misplaced now this can be a very spiritual card and you could find yourself feeling at least for a time at one with all of creation and that's not a common feeling so you might just want to try to savor it so basically the the recent past energy this three of swords clarified by the star card so what i'm getting is that there was heartbreak there's some heartbreak for some of you capricorns this could this heartbreak could be Hmm. Maybe you and your person severed ties and you felt rejected by your person or the two of you start to shut each other out. With this three of swords, it's about relationship difficulties. So you close yourself off to them or they close themselves off to you and it caused a lot of heartbreak. Feeling rejected. Yeah, so there was there's a lot of sadness for you and your person. That's a recent past energy. Now, at one point, this person or the connection made you feel really great. Made you feel like a star. Yeah. Probably when you first two met, or maybe the recent past energy, that could have been a week ago, two months ago, three months ago, or more. So what I'm getting is that the, the, the connection was really good. It brought you a lot of hope and faith, renewed energy and belief in things that you never believed in, then all of a sudden, 
Yeah, someone started to close themselves off. Somebody felt rejected. And it caused a lot of pain here. Because I'm just looking at how those swords are stabbed into to this heart. So yeah, it was good. Then all of a sudden, it turned really bad. So let's move on over. Let's see what we got coming up now. We got the Page of Cups, and it's with the Six of Swords. Now, the Page of Cups, it's showing a need to play, dream, have a little fun. It can sometimes mean that you've been taking yourself too serious. There was a poet or a writer that once said, The one thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work serious and taking oneself serious. Well, the first is, imper the first is imperative, and the second is can be a disaster. So this page of cups is paired with the six of swords. Now the six of swords, it can indicate metaphorical movement, a change in where you are inwardly. Usually the change is for the better, whether the context is internal or external. It's about thinking where you want to be. There is a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So this is about taking the time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery will be helpful. And just keep in mind, it doesn't have to cost money. So... What's coming up for you and your person? Page of Cups, clarified by the Six of Swords. So, yeah. Hmm. Like I said, there was some heartbreak here. I don't know if you got hurt or your person got hurt. Who got hurt the most or who started to feel shut out and re rejected. And it caused a lot of sadness here. Um, I'm, I'm picking up for a lot of you, Capricorns, it's, it's you. So coming up, you realize that you need to let this, this heartbreak stop. You want it to stop. You want the pain to go away. You want to feel like a star again, whether it's with this person or not. So maybe you start to go out with friends. Yeah, you see how the Page of Cups is a card above the word present. There's these three people who looks like they're hanging loose at the park. They're halfway naked. They're turning up the bottle. So you realize you just need to have some fun. You've been really feeling down in the dumps lately. So maybe you go out with friends and family or maybe you... Um, find some source of entertainment here. Someone could be reaching out to you. Maybe someone younger than you because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's, that means youth, student, immaturity, someone younger than you. Yeah, someone's reaching out. Maybe a younger family member or maybe some a person of interest, a love interest. This person, like I said, might be younger than you and they know how to have a good time and that's just this feeling, that's how you're going to be feeling. You just want to do something to alleviate what you've been through, so much heartbreak. So, because it's with the Six of Swords, you might decide to reach out to your person. Yeah. I feel like I'm doing a reading for some, some really wise, some wise, mm, mm, some really wise Scorpio, not Scorpios, wise, what sign am I doing? Capricorns. Yeah, it's, let's see. There are some wise Capricorns that I'm reading for. I'm getting because a six of swords is here. Some of you are going to reach out to this person. 
that caused so much heartbreak or that you went through so much heartbreak with. And you're just going to want to um, come out of the storm because you know that it's going to be better. It's going to do you good. Yeah, and if you cause them some grief, you know that it's going to do them good also. So maybe you reach out to them or they reach out to you. And you just want to come out of this, this storm that the two of you just got out of. Yeah, you want to shake this this heartbreak off. So you might decide to reach out to your person and just maybe maybe apologize or or just try to be at peace with this person. Or maybe just to move into calmer waters. Because that's, that's what they're doing. If you take a look at the Six of, of Swords, these two people, looks like they just got out of raging wild waters. Now the water is still. So they're moving into calmer waters. They're not holding hands or looking into each other's eyes. He's way, he's about five feet behind her. And she's looking at something in her hand, some project or something she's working on. But yeah, so you might reach out to your person or your person might reach out to you. Because the Page of Cups is also about messages, so they could be messaging you. But I'm picking up, it's a, I'm talking to some very wise Capricorns who know that they there's power in forgiveness there is um there's some beneficial energy that you get when you just come out of conflict with people um because when you're in conflict with a person or you're feeling hate or anger towards someone. Most of you know this, but when you feel that way, hate and anger towards someone or about someone, you actually carry this person with you around on your shoulders. They become a part of your every breath. Yeah, you, you're breathing them in and you're exhaling them out and you're breathing them back in. So, like I said, there's some wise Capricorns out there that I'm reading for. You know the power of forgiveness and moving on and letting go. So, a lot of you are going to reach out to your person. Because you don't like the energy that's draining you from, from whatever went wrong. Yeah, because you remember how great you felt at one time with this person. So, you, need, you know you need to let go of the hurt. And the pain so that you can move past it. You could go on to the next phase of your life without being bitter. Yeah. So that's what we got coming up. Now, let's see what the challenge is going to be. Well, we got this King of Wands and with the King of Cups. Now, the King of Wands, it can indicate a man with hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. This person will want to serve as a mentor for you. King of Wands is very positive. Even when he does not represent an actual individual in your life, it does signal that you could have a lot of men around you who are very supportive of you and they think really well of you. So you'll be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and you're going to have the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind. And it's with the King of Cups. You got you had two really good energies here. King of Cups. It's the card below the word challenge. It speaks of a balanced male and feminine energy. He holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often he indicates the actual person in your life. Usually when it does represent a person in your life, it's referring to a very kind and loving individual. He could have hair and eyes on the lighter end of the spectrum. But it could go either way. Just know you're supported by the universe. 
in ways seen, seen and unseen when you get this King of Cups in a reading. King of Cups, if you ever see the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups in a reading, just know that those are two, two of the most loving energies in the deck. Very loving. There's love. King of Cups wants to offer a cup of love. It's all about kindness and compassion. There is an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is when you get this card. Nurture yourself. Allow others to nurture you. So basically, the challenge, King of Wands, clarified by the King of Cups. Two wonderful kings. So, Capricorn, your person, they, they still have a lot of love for you. I don't know what happened. They got love for you. And and then the king, king of wands is here. Your person still has love for you and you have a lot of caring and protective feelings about your, about this person. Yeah. So there's there's still love there. Even though the, even though you two have closed each other off and somebody got rejected and there's a lot of heartbreak here. There's still love there. Someone still cares. This could be you or your person or, or the both of you. But since there's two kings here, one is you and one is them. So let's see what the outcome is. Well, we got this six of cups. And we got the high priestess. Now the six of cups, it can be about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can, but not always, be connected with children or childhood. So it's important just to not spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. Because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, it's clarified by the High Priestess. The high, with this card, it can mean that you're, you're in a phase that you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This High Priestess is actually tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. So it's a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind and intellect. It's also important to pay attention to your dreams. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's going to be a really good idea. So it could be a magical, mystical time for love if you're interested. So basically, the outcome, Six of Cups, clarified by the High Priestess. So what I'm getting is that, yeah, like I said, you want to come out of this storm that you have with, with your person just so that you could move past it and get over the heartbreak. Yeah, like I said, your person still has love for you. You still care a lot about this person. So you two come out of stormy waters. You're trying to let go of that grief and learn how to just have fun again. And how to feel like a star again. So you might be asking for forgiveness and maybe they are too. But it looks like you two come out of stormy waters. Both of you still have feelings for each other though. So, the outcome is that you you just enjoy the memories. You realize that you, you, you two have a lot of happy memories together that you've shared. 
So you realize it's best to maybe just enjoy the memories that you had. Yeah, because it's showing that you guys had a lot of great memories. I'm just looking at the faces on these people. Yeah, and because it's with the high priestess, yeah, you might realize that it's it's best to just go silent because the high priestess is the type that that is sitting pretty and this and the, the high priestess will go silent on you give you the silent treatment so you realize it's probably best to just keep quiet after you two have moved out of stormy waters and just enjoy the memories that the connection brought to your life so that's the reading that I have for you Capricorn I don't know why I want to say something other than Capricorn that's the reading that I have for you I hope you enjoyed the reading I hope it resonate as you know general readings they do not always resonate with everyone then again if you like the reading please comment subscribe hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario? And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorn, I thank you so very much for watching. Thank you so much for the sub new subscribers and my old subscribers. It's very helpful to my channel, so thank you. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe and strong during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get, get through this. So please come back and check out the next Capricorn reading just in case this does not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, I think I um, did not mention, but I should have. Just know that the roles can be switched. They can be reversed. You could be them or they could be you. And also, if you're not in a love relationship or you're not dating or seeing anyone, um, you could be dealing with a family member or a friend. So it doesn't have to be a love interest. It could also be a situation. So just keep that in mind because they're general readings. So I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.